Hi friends, welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. Today I am hosting the Sweet Summer Days playlist. I'll let you know more about that in a few minutes. But if you are new here, welcome. My name is Brenda and this is my Oliver. And we are so happy you stopped by today. And if you're returning, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys more than you know. So with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, here's DIY number one. So for this DIY, I'm gonna use this decal I created on my Cricut. This wood ice cream cone I got from Woodpecker's Craft. I'll have a link to them in my description box. These three wood planks from Dollar Tree. My Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. My coffee latte and burnt umber. And then I have fuchsia and pink blush. Light yellow aquamarine lagoon and bright blue and I'll have all those colors in my description box as well. So I'm going to start off by taking the hangers off of each one of those plaques and then I laid them all out and I'm going to use some jumbo craft sticks um, to adhere them together and I just used wood glue and hot glue. Then I turned it over and I'm taking some spackling and covering up all of those little hanger holes so that you don't see them. After that, I took my coffee latte paint by Folk Art and I am painting the ice cream cone part of the ice cream cone. And I did, I didn't do the back, I just did the sides and the front. And after I get this all painted, I'm going to take my Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster and I'm going to paint the ice cream part. And I'll tell you what, you guys, this plaster color is the perfect color for vanilla ice cream. When I was putting it on, I was like, man, this really looks like vanilla ice cream. I don't know, maybe it's because it's against that brown and it just kind of makes it pop. But uh, yeah, I was wanting ice cream after this. <laughs> so once I have this all painted, I am going to take some of my extra fine Sharpies and I am making sprinkles and I'm just making little lines um, just kind of here and there and I'm using purple and blue and green and pink and red. I tried to use the yellow but it really didn't show up so I ended up not using that. But I just go around about halfway down the uh, ice cream making those sprinkles. After that I took my brown sharpie and I am making diagonal lines all the way down my um, cone. And then after that, I went the, um, the opposite direction here, just like you see, and that way it looks like a waffle cone. And then after that, I took my, my picture here and I took my magenta and I squeezed it on and I'm brushing it all around the top part of that first plank. Then I'm gonna take my light pink or whatever it's called. What is it called? Uh, pink blush. I knew blush was in there. And I'm painting the next part and I did not clean my brush off. Um, I I did at that point just because I'd squirted too much of the light pink. But um, when I started with it, I kept some of that pink and I did the same kind of thing here. I just kind of wanted to blend those colors a little bit and again, as you can see, I got too much paint. I just went overboard when I was pouring it. Oh my goodness, I had such a mess. <laughs> so after I got about halfway down, then I took my aquamarine and I did the same thing, just kind of brushing it in with that yellow. I didn't let it dry or anything because I did want it to kind of mix together a little bit. And then yes, I made sure I did the sides as well. Then I took my um, Lagoon and went underneath that green. And then after that, I take the bright blue and I did the bottom. Then I took some more of this uh, plaster and I decided I wanted to make it look like the, the ice cream was dripping. And so then after that, I took this half bead I got from Amazon and I hot glued it to the top to look like a cherry. Then I took my decal and as you can see, as I'm doing this, I realized what happened to my eye? My eye is missing. So I did have to go back and make another eye and place it in there. But um, I'm just adding my decal here. And it did give me a little trouble, I'll tell you. I think that's because it's a new piece of transfer tape and it was just too sticky. But then I took the, uh, the ice cream cone and I'm using wood glue and hot glue and I'm just going to glue it right there in place. Then I took this, um, this, I 
got this from Dollar Tree. I thought it was just twine with pink little threads running around it, but it actually has like a pink ribbon behind it, which was really cool. So I am just going to hot glue some of this on each side. And then after that, I did cover the back and well, I'm gonna add a hanger with that same <laughs> ribbon. And then I did cover the back and trimmed it all down. And that's all there was for this DIY. I think it is so cute and just screams summertime to me. I don't know, how about you? Does it make you want ice cream too? <laughs> Let me know in the description box. What kind of ice cream do you like to get in the summertime? <laughs> Okay, so today I am hosting the Sweet Summer D uh, Days Challenge and every month I host or am part of hosting these challenges with my good friends Amanda with Six Kids and a Glue Gun and Chantel with Crafty Hints. And if you don't know who they are, make sure you check out their channels and check out the playlist so that way you can get amazing summertime DIY ideas. So let's get on to the next project. So here's DIY number two. So I saw these on Pinterest and I just knew I had to make them. So I grabbed these two uh, pots, clay pots from Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna use my paints in the color Pink Blush, Aquamarine, and Chocolate Bar. And then this Hydrangea brush from Dollar Tree and this Peony bush from Dollar Tree. And so I'm going to start off by taking my cafe latte uh, paint and I am painting about the bottom half, all of the bottom half of this, um, what is it, clay pot, oh my gosh, terracotta pot. And I do this on both. So I'm just giving this a good paint. Now I almost didn't paint this. I was thinking about just keeping the terracotta color, but I am so glad I did because I just think it turned out so cute. Then I took my pink blush and I am painting the top part of that one. And um, I'm just kind of, I didn't make my lines straight. I wanted them to overlap a little so it looked like ice cream. And then I just painted a little bit on the inside. So that way you don't see um, the clay pot. <clears throat> then I took some of that chocolate bar um, paint by Apple Barrel and a small brush and I'm just outlining where the two colors meet. And I do this on both um, pots. And as you can see on the other pot, I did the aquamarine, just like I did with this one. And I did the, the brown um, chocolate bar paint along the edge of that one as well. Then I took that chocolate bar and I went around and I just did diagonals and I didn't care if they weren't perfect, you know, I just figured, hey, why, why care about it? It's gonna look great and it does. <laughs> so then I went and went the opposite direction after that to make it look like the crisscross on um, your ice cream cone. And I do that on both pots. After that, I took my brown Sharpie marker and I'm just going around and making brown like chocolate sprinkles on there. And after that, well, actually when I started, I started making really small ones and a whole bunch and I decided I didn't like it. So I changed it up to just make some little bit larger ones here and there. Then I filled, um, oh, and I did the same thing with my green one, but I used my art. Haza pins with some different colors because I wanted something else than what my Sharpies had. Um, and then I'm just putting the flowers in the pots and that's all there is. I didn't put styrofoam or anything in the pots because I, I was being lazy and I really didn't feel like it. So I'm just bending the bottoms so that I can stick it all into the pot. Um, but <laughs> there it is. I love how these came out. They are just so stinking adorable. You'll have to let me know what you think about them as well. Okay, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can find the links to my accounts in my link tree in the description box below as well as to accounts uh, other accounts that i'm affiliated with okay celebration of your recreations oh beautiful job belinda she is already getting ready for fall i love your little shovel and rake there it is so so cute 
If you have some a picture of a creation or recreation that you have created and you would like me to showcase it, you can email it to me or send it to me through Instagram or Facebook Messenger and my email is in the description box below. Here's DIY number three. So for this DIY, I am gonna take, I actually took six tumbling tower blocks and one of these popsicles I got from Amazon. I'll have them in my Amazon store. I created that decal on my Cricut, this wood plaque from Dollar Tree, my Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster, my folk art chalk paint in the color cafe latte, and apple red. So I am going to start off by hot gluing three of these tumbling tower blocks together. Now I actually end up doing uh, two strips of three and then I paint them white and I paint that plaque white as well. If you're new, I just want to say welcome. I am so happy you joined me today. If you like home decor on a budget, holiday decor, thrift flips, gift ideas, then I would invite you to hit that subscribe button and become part of our family. And then let me know in the comment box below that you're new here. I'd love to get to know you. And then also you guys, if you like today's video, make sure you give me that thumbs up and comment because you all know that helps my channel grow. <laughs> so as you see, I just painted the trim of that with that candy apple red. And then I'm taking my little popsicle here and I'm painting the top red because cherry popsicles are my favorite although i'm not a huge fan of cherry or popsicles but if i'm going to have a popsicle it's always going to be cherry <laughs> and i do uh, both sides of that and then i paint um, the little popsicle stick with my coffee coffee latte <laughs> and once i have both sides of that painted i took my um plaster and I could see the little outline of the melted ice cream that was already printed on this little wood piece. So I'm just going with a th small paintbrush and just painting within that little outline there. And I love this one too. I think it's so cute. But anyways, I, <laughs> I can't believe I'm showing you guys all of this. I'm so sorry, but I'm just gonna paint and dream of ice cream while I'm painting because that's what I was doing because it's been so hot here and it sounded so good but I did not get ice cream I was a good girl <laughs> but seriously guys tell me in the comment box what is your favorite ice creams that you like to get in the summertime then I just took my decal here and I'm just putting it right onto my plaque and after that I'm going to hot glue I'm going to use wood glue and hot glue to glue that popsicle on. Now you can see the pink stripes on that popsicle. I was gonna try to make it, I don't know, look like a popsicle, you know, the kind that had the little indentation, but I just didn't like the way they look. So that's why I turned it over and painted it with the white, because um, I liked that better. I thought it looked better. So after that, I took some of this red gingham ribbon and I am just making a bow by doing the awareness ribbon, taking some twine. Oh, it didn't wanna work. But I take some twine, wrap it around, and then I'll uh, tie a knot in it and then trim off that twine, fluff my bow, dovetail the ends, and oh my goodness, am I moving slow or am I just talking fast? But I don't know. <laughs> oh my. Oh, oh well. It's been a day, you guys. I, yeah, I, I've been very, very busy today, so... I got this video finished and edited and I got my projects done for another video coming up on Tuesday, all in one day. So yeah, it's been a day. <laughs> so there you see, I just hot glued that um, bow right underneath that popsicle stick. And here I'm using my wood glue and hot glue to glue those two strips of three tumbling tower blocks together because I needed a base for my little sign here and then I'm just going to use wood glue and hot glue again to glue that right onto the base. Now I originally had tried to do this onto one strip but it would kept tipping over it wouldn't stand so I had to take it off and paint a second strip so that's why I had two strips there. And that's all there is for this one you guys you'll oh no it's not I forgot I thought I wanted to do more so I took <laughs> sorry these um plaid 
half beads that I got off of Amazon. They are in my Amazon store. And I took some of this straw here and I cut them down so that my bead would have a little bit something to stand against because there was that indent indentation there. So I'm just hot gluing those straws inside and then I'm just hot, hot gluing the um, little beads right over them. And you'd never guess that there was straws behind them <laughs> unless you watch the video. But that's all there was for this one. I think this came out really, really cute too. You'll have to let me know what you think about this one and which one was your favorite. And again, if you haven't hit that subscribe button and you enjoyed today's video, please hit that button and become part of our family. And make sure you guys check out Amanda and Chantel's videos and their channels. Subscribe if you haven't already. And then make sure you check out the playlist and enjoy the sweet summer days fun <laughs> and with all that being said guys i will not be back on monday because it's the fourth of july so all of you have a happy fourth of july and i will be back again on tuesday for the five under five dollar challenge so have a great one and i will see you on the next one Bye bye